Hi, it's Jennifer with Jennifer at Home, and I'm so glad you're here today to join me as I make my number five video in the series of super easy appetizers. Today, we're going to be making an all-time classic buffalo chicken dip. You've probably already had this in the past, but if you haven't, this is your opportunity to make it and see just how easy and how delicious it is. And we're also going to be making a wonderful bacon wrapped shrimp. These are the only ingredients we need to make this recipe. All we need are four cups of shredded chicken, but I'm gonna be using canned chicken because after all, this is an easy recipe. A cup and a half of cheddar cheese shredded, one cup of ranch dressing, one eight ounce block of cream cheese, and of course, three quarter cup of buffalo sauce. Let's put this together and get it going in the crock pot. I turned the crock pot on low and added all of the ingredients. Now all I have to do is mix it up and put the lid on and stir it every 30 minutes for four hours. Okay, now let's get on to the bacon wrapped shrimp. I cut the bacon into thirds. That way they'll be the perfect size to wrap around the shrimp. I have the bacon on a tray with parchment paper on a rack. I'm gonna put it in the oven and bake it just a little bit because the shrimp are pre-cooked. And if I don't cook the bacon a little bit ahead of time, the shrimp will get done much faster than the bacon and it will be definitely overcooked. As you can see, I've just partially cooked the bacon. I still want it to be flexible enough to wrap around the shrimp. And this is everything we need for this bacon wrapped shrimp recipe. We need approximately one pound of shrimp, about 20, peeled, four tablespoons of salted butter, a quarter cup of brown sugar, one half tablespoon of chipotle powder or seafood seasoning. I'm gonna use seafood seasoning and then we'll need some toothpicks. I always soak mine in water ahead of time so that it's less likely they're gonna burn. I've wrapped all the shrimp with bacon and secured it with a toothpick. Now we'll add the topping. I've melted the butter, now I'm gonna add the brown sugar and the seasoning. We'll just mix this up and then we'll start brushing it on to the shrimp. We're going to add about two thirds of this topping to the shrimp and then we're going to reserve some of it. We're going to add, reserve the rest. So after we bake this shrimp in the oven for about 15 minutes, we're going to take it out and put some more on. We're going to put another coating of this special seasoning on top and then we're going to put it into broil for about two to three minutes. Remember when broiling to keep a very close eye on it. Don't, my oven is at 400 degrees and I'm going to put the shrimp in for 15 minutes. The shrimp have been in the oven for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Now I'm gonna take them out and brush them with some more of the special sauce. I brushed all the shrimp with the extra layer of special sauce and now I'm gonna put it in the oven to broil for two to three minutes. I just broiled the shrimp in the oven for three minutes and it smells wonderful. It's completely done and now it's time to let it cool. And here's how the bacon wrapped shrimp turned out. They smell wonderful and taste delicious. And here's how our bacon wrapped shrimp and our buffalo chicken dip turned out. Be sure to stay to the end because I'm gonna add two videos with super easy appetizers that are not included in this series. I am so glad you are here today to join me to make these appetizers. And remember, you don't have to be a football fan to give these recipes a try. I would love for you to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell so you'll get a notification every time I have a new video coming out. 